How does it feel to, to earn first team honors here? Um, it's obviously uh, a tremendous feat. Um, I'm really happy uh, with uh, the way the first team uh, came out. Um, to be honest, I mean, it wasn't my initial goal at the beginning of the year. I don't think any of us, including the coaching staff and myself, really expected me to have uh, the type of season that I had, uh, which I, and I think that makes it a little bit more remarkable. I mean, you were a third-team guy in the preseason. Do you feel like you maybe, I don't know, proved people wrong or gained respect of the opposing coaches in the league? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think third team was maybe a little bit too low uh, for me in the beginning of the year. But, again, it was all speculation. I think that's why we played the season. I mean, uh, I just tried to come out every single night and play as hard as I possibly can. Uh, and it really worked out for me. How do you feel about the uh, MAC team coming up? I'm really excited. I think we're in a good position right now. Uh, we finished sixth. Uh, we were able to stay out of the first round game, which is one of our goals. We finished better than we did last year, which is also another one of our goals. Uh, we have guys playing at a really high level right now. Uh, Downey's really hitting his stride. Uh, Owen played really well last night. Uh, Brandon's coming along. So I think we're playing our best basketball late in the year, which is what you want to do in college basketball. Well, what can you say about the season Evan had and how crucial is it to, for you guys to get him healthy? Uh, yeah, weekend? Evan's uh, obviously a key part of the team. He's a cornerstone of the team. He makes us go. Um, as a freshman, had a tremendous year, a tremendous season. Um, obviously, being picked on the all rookie team. Uh, with the injury that he had last night, um, it's going to be uh, imperative that he gets healthy this week because uh, we're really going to need him. How much does the extra day help you guys? Uh, it's really important for us, uh, especially with, with a young team uh, and a depleted bench. Uh, the extra day does so much for us. So it's an extra day of preparation, it's an extra day of rest, um, and just to get mentally ready uh, when we get down there for the MAC tournament. You've knocked Manhattan out the last two years. Does that do anything for you facing the third year? I think, from a uh, confidence standpoint, it does. I mean, we understand in the MAC tournament uh, that it's one, one and done. To come in and play a team like Manhattan, uh, who plays very hard defensively, um, you know, plays a lot of guys, and us who, uh, you know, we don't really have the bodies. It's going to be an interesting matchup. They got you pretty good down there, and then came back up here, and you guys beat them. What changed between then and that game? You know, that's simple. It's just the turnovers. Uh, we went down there and turned the ball over like crazy. Uh, you can't give a team like, uh, like Manhattan extra, extra possessions because they're going to uh, make you pay for it. We came up here, we took care of the ball, uh, really handed their pressure, got good shots, uh, and, and we won the game. So I think the game plan is really simple. Uh, it's win the game uh, come Saturday night. OD, I think this is the seventh straight year that Sienna's had a player on the first team. What does it say about the program, and then also, you know, you now, you know, in the names of Ubalus and Moore and Rosser and Franklin. Oh, well, honestly, Andrew, I'm happy you tell me that now and not in the beginning of the year <laughs> uh, because that would have put a lot of pressure on me. Um, uh, but really, I think uh, it's just a testament to the, how well the program's been run the last couple of years. It's a testament to how hard, how hard guys work. Um, it's also a tribute to how hard, uh, you know, the uh, players around that player of the year candidate um, work because they, they – they uh, have no problem deferring to that player, you know, giving them the ball or calling sets for them. It, it's just uh, a testament to just how well um, Sienna basketball has been uh, the last seven, seven years. You were a player of the year candidate when they announced it on Thursday. It would be, um, you know, Rossiter won last year on a seventh place team. Do you think you may have a shot at it on Thursday? Yeah, I mean, I think I do. Uh, I think the body of work speaks for itself, uh, leading the nation and rebounding, leading the nation in double doubles. Uh, I mean, is it one of my goals? No. Uh, I want to win a max championship. Uh, that's the goal. That's the only goal. Uh, but we'll see what happens come Thursday night. Thanks, Andy.